closed guard and guard passing in general. So um, the first thing I actually want to do, this is going to be sort of a half warm-up, half technique exercise, um, it, it's not so much actually attacking the closed guard, it's more proper posture, okay? So, because one of the main things he wants in closed guard is to break my posture. Yeah, he wants this. Okay, this is what he wants, okay? And he's going to normally do that by, exactly, by bringing his legs up. So, just do that like you would normally do it. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, again, yeah, okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, don't have to power it. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm doing here? No, that's not it. It is a very minor difference. Do it normally now. Yeah. Ah. Do it now. You. No. What are you? The only thing I'm doing is I'm moving my hips slightly forward. Ah, and that is, that is putting my, my center of gravity in a different place, and that's making it hard for you to break my posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a there is a weight cutoff. If I'm doing this with Jan, he is going to break my posture every time. So the difference is, yeah. No, no, it's not even that. It's, this is how I sit normally, and if, this is a technique. It's called the cement post um, because I'm basically making myself like a column of cement. Um, so, and normally when people are sitting in guard, they're sitting like this. All I'm doing is this. It's hard to see on the camera. I am just basically rotating. Instead of having my, my, my butt kind of moving back like I would normally have when I'm sitting, I'm just moving my, my butt forward. I'm not doing this, okay? My, my shoulders and upper body are staying where they are. I'm just moving my hips a little bit forward. It's a very small movement and it makes a huge difference. Okay? So, so that you can see it with someone else. So, no, same thing. You put me in close guard. No, no, put me in close guard. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so, uh, break my posture. Just, no, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, just, just, all your force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how feel easy. Easy. Okay, do it again. Yeah. Okay, do it now. <laughs> yeah, it's not impossible. There is a weight cut off. I mean, again, if the big Jan does this I, to me, I, I, this breaks down. So, so if you're like 60 kilos heavier than the guy you're fighting, this starts to break down. But, th and what this does is two things. Because let's say about 80 percent of his attacks in the close guard involve breaking me and bringing me here. So now we can start attacking arm bars, sweeps, triangles. This is where most of his attacks are. If I'm like this, he has to actually switch. So you know what I'm going working on here. So and if, so if I'm like this and he can't break me, he only has one attack now, and that is to come up for a card sweep. Yeah, is this? Yeah, exactly. That's his only attack now which makes him predictable. Because I know, because if I know I don't have to deal with everything here, all I have to deal with is him coming up for a guard sweep, try to do it, no, no, all I have to do is that. <laughs> if I can just stop him from getting up, I, I just have to boom, and he can't get up, and I don't, I don't get swept anymore. So that's the first thing, is not so much a technique, it's just being stable in the guard, and reducing the number of threats. Because if you're thinking about, oh God, armbar, sweet, triangle, oh, 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 then you start to get overwhelmed, you start to panic, and you're like, oh God, and that's where you make a mistake, and that's where he gets a technique more easily. But if I reduce everything that he can do down to just one thing, I know what's coming now. I only have to do that one block, and I'm done. And it's an easy thing to block. I'll, I don't even have to, again, if he does that, I don't even have to push him back down. All I have to do is come up. I just have to do that. Mm -hmm. And after a while of him trying to do that, his abs are going to get tired. <laughs> okay? So that's the first thing we're going to practice, actually, is just this cement post posture. Mm -hmm. It's how to be stable in the closed guard. Okay? So, and since we're a small group and an uh, uneven number, we'll do this so that everyone does this with me. Okay? okay. So we'll rotate so I can, I can correct everyone. Okay? So, but first, 
Me too. Me too. Okay. So, um, what I want to start with is his most common attacks in the close guard, okay? What he's most likely going to do, okay? So, basically, I want to start from the worst possible scenario I can be in and then work backwards from there. So, the first, I would say, 99% of the attacks people are going to do is, let's say he's able to break my crossbar with an armor cross, he is going to arm bar me. That is going to be the most common, go ahead, go ahead. He is going to come here and try to break my arm. This is going to be the most common attack I'm going to get, okay? People, if people who are really good at close guard, they can fire that thing off like lightning. It's, it's unbelievable sometimes watching it, okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is escaping when he attacks an arm bar. Okay, so let's assume he's broken my posture, he's got my arm, he comes around, hits his leg around my arm, okay, and we're in this position, okay? My first reaction is with my free arm, I want to lock up my, and put my hand in the bicep and get this hand at the very least here to this thigh. Then with this leg, I want to pressure into him, okay? Because the worst thing for me is, he, if he's, is if he is able to fully extend his body. Okay, so this is the first thing I need to do. This is protecting my arm. From here, I take this hand, I want to pull it inside. <laughs> Not yet, but I'm very close, yes. I want to pull it inside and onto this leg. And from here, the minute I can get the elbow of this arm out, my arm is safe. So I just want to, go ahead and hold it. So, so what I'm going to do is, Basically, yeah. I've got, now I've got my elbow out, and I'm safe. And while we're here, I am now in the perfect position to get past his guard. So I'm going to just basically bring my elbow here, put his legs to the side, and now we can pass his leg. Okay? That's... The second reason I think it's really important to have counters to the most common attacks because the best chance for me to pass his guard is right after I escape the submission. Um, for two reasons. Um, one, it's just honestly, the escape armbar is just a bad position for him. I mean, you saw the way he was stacked on his head and everything, and just kind of, uh, that's just not a very mobile position for him. Two, um, and I've done this at tournaments, that oh shit reaction, right after you got out of something that he thought he was going to win, it, there is that sort of second of shock, like, oh god, what do I do? Um, there's a, there's a, one of my videos uh, on my YouTube channel, it's one of my fights at Naga once, someone was going for, an, uh, for an, a Kimura on me, and I, I had been practicing a lot of Kimura escape, so I wasn't worried, so I immediately twisted out, twisted down, got into the one and started passing the guy's guard, and he, he was just looking at me like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> he just had this look on his face like, I thought I was winning! <laughs> so, so that's why, that is the perfect position. The minute you get into that, I've just escaped the submission, you want to immediately fire off an attack, because that is the best time to attack someone. Okay, so showing that one again. Okay, so again, we're assuming worst case scenario, He's broken my posture. Got this. Okay, first things first. My hand goes in my bicep and this hand comes up. This is my first protection so that if he starts trying to extend the arm. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and put some power on this, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not permanent. This is his whole body against just my arms. If he puts all of his power into this, it will break my grip, but it buys me time. Then, with this foot, I start stacking so that his knees go over his head. This is the position that I'm relatively safe in. Now it's not just my arm, but he's got my whole body weight on him now. So from here, this hand, let me turn around so that I can show it in the camera. So from here, this hand, okay, it goes from outside this leg, and I pummel to inside this leg. And now I can start pushing down more body weight. And now I've got my arm. Now I can start bringing up my elbow. 
And the minute I can see my elbow under his legs, I'm out. Okay, from here, take this arm, scoop under his legs into this sort of position. It's basically a kind of a double leg drag pass. So I've got both of his legs, and I can just scoot into second control. Okay? So, first, first technique we're going to today, okay? So, the first, if you're going to defend something in the closed guard, this is what you want to defend. The arm bar is like the most common attack. The second one would be the triangle, but the first one is the arm bar. You have to have an arm bar defense, okay? So, same idea, everyone practices with you. So, yeah, okay, so, um, okay, so that, that was the number one most common attack is the arm bar. The number two most common attack would be the triangle. So, so similar situation, and he's broken up, yeah, go ahead, just go with your triangle. Yeah, okay, so, um, and here I'm in what's often called in jujitsu a situation of double trouble because from here he can attack both my arm and my choke, okay? So my first priority is to get my arm up and protect it from the arm bar. So that he can't do the triangle arm bar because if I have to defend two things, that makes my work, my work, my job harder, okay? So the first thing is get the arm up, um, best as, as high as you can, and try to defend him getting my wrist because I don't want him pulling an arm bar, okay? And then from here, I want to start posturing up yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of people going in like this is what he, yeah, this is what he wants. <laughs> Never posture into a triangle because that is what he wants. What you what you want to do is posture and look up. Okay? You want to open this as far as possible. He cannot choke me now. Okay? I'm not safe, but the choke is gone. Okay? So and from now, from here, I really just have to. And from here, I collect both his legs, and this is something called a double under. And we're essentially going to do something very similar to the armbar escape. I'm going to bring, a lot of people just come up in here and then try to throw the legs aside. Come up as high as you can, bring his knees to his face. And then from here, same thing. Collect both legs, give him no space. Okay? So, um, let's do it facing this way so that my face can, that, so that the distance, uh -huh. yeah, okay, so, pick him up, anyhow, I don't care, okay, yeah, so he's in the triangle, so like I said, first thing first, get that arm up, mm -hmm. make sure he can't attack arm bars on that arm, and then, posture up, okay, look to the ceiling, never look down, even if I'm, even if I'm up high, yeah, exactly, now you can break my posture, yeah, yeah, if I'm looking up, try to break my posture. Okay, so he's going to do sit-ups now, which is good because that's going to make him tired. Okay, so, and from here, I insert a thumb post on his knee, and now I can bring my other hand to it. He's already starting to break the lock now. I bring my other hand here behind the knee, and I just push open. Okay, now I'm out of the lock, and I bring both my arms under his legs, that's where the name double under comes from because I am under both legs, a double under. And now, really important, don't just throw the legs aside, it's a mistake a lot of people do. If I'm in the heat of the moment, sometimes I do it too. Bring his knees into his face. And very important, you can't see it, is bring this knee to his armpit. If I just come up here, most people will start to post. No, on my hips. On my hips. Oh. Th that's, those are my knees. Hips, 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 hips. Yeah. And now, now this makes getting into my pads really hard. Okay? If I bring my knee into his shoulder, not try to post. Yeah, exactly. I block this arm. Now he can't really post. I can even bring that elbow to across his chest. And now I get my pads. 